Um, are there any prerequisites needed prior to becoming part of a car building project? Like, can a novice participate? Like, do you have any vetting process? Do I have to have a degree in design, or I just With have to have a design? If Impress Me was asking to come build a car, to right. come part of that, there are no prerequisites. Right, you can go build. Train. You can go build, and then to be part of it, the prerequisite is can you impress your fellow community members? And ah. so that's really what it is. The benchmark is the community. That's right, the benchmark yeah. is the community. We don't pass judgment and say you can or cannot be part of it. As this community gets more and more sort of locked in and, and defining itself, mm. does that mean it's going to sort of steer in a certain direction and maybe not be open to some other ideas? Is it? How do you deal with that? Like, I, I, there's a great man, Doug Levin, who started a company called Black Duck Software, which mm -hmm. basically manages open source. And he told me many years ago when I was starting this company, he said, remember, just because it's open doesn't mean that you let the crowd rule the company. Right. He said, you have to guide the direction. Right. And so I think that basically we started a car that was co-created or crowdsourced, if you will, mm -hmm. and then we left all the data open so that people could come in and mod their car. It's the most moddable car in the world. You want any of the CAD data, any of the parts that we put on it, any of the build instructions, it's all there for you. Right. We will never step aside and let that become closed. Right. So that's where we manage the process. You've been watching This Week in Startups. To watch the full episode, click here. To check out some other shows from This Week in, click here.